Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Lil and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Binance charts in 2022. What I'm doing this video is because often crypto platforms update and yes i already have a binance chart setup video which i did when i first started doing youtubing um, and we've had updates on binance quite a few updates since then so i'm going to go through just the basic chart setups and um, you'll see that there's a slightly different interface compared to that video so let's go hey guys so we've come to the exchange and this is what it looks like when you've come to the exchange for the first time. So if you haven't registered, you can either select register to sign up or if you've already signed up to Binance, then you just select the login option. If you are going to be using this from a phone or a, a smaller device other than a laptop and a computer, you can always just click on the, um, the code and um, it is for user friendly for Apple and Android. So those are the three options. And in this um, in this setup, I'm only setting up as per spot trading. I don't do leverage. I don't do anything else on Binance besides trading or spot trading. So I'm going to show you how to set that the charts up there. So now we're in the Binance Exchange, and you're going to go to Trade and select Advance. We want to se select Advance because it will give you access to the advanced trading tools. So now we've uh, come through trade and selected the option advance and this is what you'll come to and this is for those who will come to it the very first time. So you will go to the original chart and you're going to change it from original to the trading view option. Okay and then this is what it looks like. So now that you've got this part of it set up then it's time to start adding all your technical indicators. Often you'll get these little pop-ups, so Binance will be introducing tokens, different, different um, promotions will come up, they'll pop up here. Read them, they're really good. They'll also talk, pop up the, um, have pop-ups of updates. Um, anything that's involved in the crypto space where Binance is involved, they will put the little pop-up there. You can view more or read it, but it is all there. And if you don't want it, just select on the right hand side, just select the X and it will go away. Okay, so now we're ready to set up our chart. And the very first thing you're going to need is the Bollinger Bands. So to find how to set up your charts, you've got the technical indicators icon, which is right here. Okay, just if you don't know which one it is, just drag your mouse on top of the little icons on top of the, uh, on your Binance chart and you will see it will pop the word of the of the icon will pop up so we want technical indicators and the first thing we're going to go for is the bollinger bands so just click on it this box will open up and type in bb for bollinger band and then select bollinger band okay and now your bollinger bands have appeared I um, the way that I trade so I trade micro profits through the iCoin Pro trading system um, or it's an education program I'll put the link to iCoin Pro in the video or description below but um, I set my Bollinger Bands up and we're just going to set those up and I'll show you how to do that so for you to do that okay you've just got to let's take that away but you'll see that this is popped up because this little bit of information here represents the technical indicator that you've just added to your exchange so that's right there and that's the technical indicator that you've just added and it is bollinger band and it's come up as a default of 22 and i want to change that okay the way that i learned uh, the spread of the bollinger band ha has to be changed from 20 to the number 50 and 2. okay and you'll when i remove this box you'll see that it will change once I select OK. I also like to change the size of my uh, Bollinger Bands. I like them to be the thickest so if you just select on upper I can make it either brighter and like the thickest line okay and then lower again same thing just select click on that 
make it thicker and then the thickest line and then that is done okay and as you can see my Bollinger Bands are now set up the spread of the Bollinger Band has opened up from that 20 to 2 and that is my Bollinger Band set up okay and then the second uh, the other two technical indicators I'm going to be adding is the RSI and the, the MACD for those of you who are totally new um, these are definitely technical indicators that you want but when you're totally new try to just focus on this part of learning first and then add the other two as your learning process add them on as you go if you try to learn all three of them at once it will just delay the time in learning uh, people think you really really do need them ASAP and you kind of do need them as you go but you know learn this this part of the chart first and then implement the other two but the other two is the RSI so again we're going to go and select the technical indicators icon the box is going to pop up and you're going to type up RSI and RSI stands for relative strength index and we select that remove this and I'm going to go and I'm going to edit my settings I just want the lines thicker that's all I'm going to do so we're going to go to style and it's the purple line Again, I'm going to do the same thing I did for the Bollinger Bands just click up there once you've set it and then this box will pop back up and you're going to select OK and now my RSI is set up and the reason we use the RSI is because when you become a trader you'll understand prices where it's overbought where it's oversold and we use this indicator to pretty much help us identify where it is is it near overbought which is up here at the RSI sub 70 line or is it the price right now near the oversold which is down here and ideally most traders prefer to buy around the oversold section but as you can see Bitcoin has you know not necessarily been overbought since you know this time but this is why we use the RSI chart you also like to use it to see where it's trending is it going down then you know if it's heading down that it's going to potentially can continue to head down um, but that is why I use the RSI chart I do not um, use it for more advanced I guess analysis I use it for that and it's done me well and um, I cannot go without it so now your RSI chart is set up and the third technical indicator that you're going to need we're going to go back to that technical indicator box so the third one you're going to need is the MACD which stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence and that's it right there and that is the MACD. So I need to do just a bit of setting in regards to the interface the way it looks. I'm not changing any measurements. Um, so the histogram are red so I am going to make those a little thicker because I like to see them so I'm going to do the same thing that I do for the Bollinger Bands I'm going to increase the, the opacity but I'm not going to put it to the thickest line I'm going to just do it to the third highest line that's enough for me the histogram doesn't need to be humongously big for me as long as I can see it then that's fine um, and now we want to just edit the, the MACD so the MACD is this blue line down here so I'm now going to change I'm going to take it to the whole big shebang make it all big and then the second one is the signal line so I'm also going to do the same thing because I use both of those every day for every trade and you're going to you know you want to see it if you don't like red and blue you can change the colors but that is the chart set up okay that is all the technical indicators you're going to need when you first start your trading in time you're going to add things like moving averages standard deviations uh, but for now your charts are set up and that's how you set up your Binance charts on the Binance exchange so in um, in my very first video you want to notice there wasn't anything around NFTs there wasn't fi uh, finance there were a few different things on there but this is how you set up your Binance charts in 2022 so that is it so everyone that's the end of this video hope you've enjoyed it um, that is the basic setup of spot trading on Binance on the Binance exchange 
um, you know, follow it to the key and you should be sweet as. So just remember, if you need a Binance link, I'll put one in the description below. If you don't need one and you're already signed up, just follow the steps and what I've shown in this video. If you haven't already got a Binance link, just remember, go directly to Binance and um, you've got the options there or you can click on the link that we've put in the description bar below. Also, if you have already completed your setup and you wanna know what you need to do or get next, I've put the video to the three things that you're gonna to need to start trading or to start trading in 2022. I've put the description or the link in the description bar below. But that's the end of this video. Until the next one, take care and stay blessed. We'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.